Hi, my name is John Whitehead. I'm an executive and leadership coach and welcome to this week's video blog post. As we continue our journey exploring Kuzas and Posmas, the leadership challenge, and the five practices that they identified in that great uh, leadership work, uh, I just want to make clear that what I'm trying to do here is give my own personal viewpoint on the five practices and the 30 behaviors that are within those five practices. So these are things that have come from my experience as a leader in an organization for many, many years, as a manager, general manager, and also the, the take pulling from the training that I've received over the years. You know, we talked about continuous learning a couple of uh, weeks ago. I'm one of those people who's always continuously learning. And so what I learned through my experience, then I hope to um, share with these blog posts. And one of the things that I have realized that, as I mentioned a couple of weeks ago, is I try and look around for new ideas, for new thinking idea, thoughts in the leadership world because I have an interest in it. And because I'm working with leaders, senior and emerging leaders in organizations, and I want to make sure that I'm asking them some key questions to get them to dig deeper into the challenges that they face. And that some of the resources maybe I can provide to them will be helpful. And which brings us now to the third uh, behavior. And again, think of this in terms of what leaders do to make extraordinary things happen in their organizations. That's how Kuzas and Posnitz pose this. So the third practice that they list here is those leaders search outside the formal boundaries of their organizations for innovative ways to improve what they do. Let me say that again. They search outside the formal boundaries of their organization for innovative ways to improve what they do. Again, it's not about, oh, this is the way we've always done it. It's more like, oh, let's see how we might sh change this, how we might shift this. Doing the same thing over and over again, right? There's that famous quote that says, doing things over and over again is a sign of insanity. And so we want to be looking outside. We want to be looking outside. And you know what? Sometimes it won't work, but that's okay. If we want to encourage those who report to us to grow, we want to encourage them to be looking at different ways. We want to be encouraging them to search out new ways of doing things as well, don't we? So think about that. How can you do that? How can you? encourage those around you. So remember last week I said that if you had ever had that challenge with individuals walking into your office asking questions all the time, and uh, your response could be, what do you think? Why don't you go and check something out? Why don't you go look up that solution? That is what this particular practice is talking about. Challenging others to look outside. So there's my challenge to you this week. Take some time at the end of the day and think about the day. And notice how many times people came in asking you for questions, looking for information, looking for solutions. And what was your response? What was your response? You know, if you get, what we're doing is we're training those, right? We're forming habits for them to be looking outside the box. Thanks for watching this week. Uh, look forward to talking to you again next week. Have a great week.